Let's go. What's cracking, guys? Omar Yusuf here. Here with the main man himself, the mastermind, Sean Kelly. Sean, how's it going? I don't know about that, but it's going okay. He is the founder of Fortis Fitness. He is a wizard. He has taught me, uh, I would say he's probably the most influential person when it comes to training. When I first joined Fortis Fitness, I couldn't damn near deadlift. Uh, 405 was it we went on that ed cohen deadlift program and within a few months like within six months of lifting at fortis i uh, deadlifted 520 so anyways sean and has I been hurt my back <laughs> and you hurt and you hurt your back yeah. but look at those legs oh wait you're wearing jeans and that's perfect you're wearing jeans today as i told you because we're gonna, you're gonna have to demonstrate. demonstrate okay when you need these big calves to demonstrate we're gonna talk today actually about the leg press the question for you sean you build all sorts of equipment like pretty much everything at fortis is made by you like the uh the racks uh, a lot of the different apparatus, the tools. Why the hell for like, let's say a strength gym or a gym for athletes, why would you even endeavor to build a leg press? Cause you know, a lot of coaches would say like, it's all about like just squat, squat, squat. So why a leg press? Absolutely, and we agree with those coaches. So we have some room for some secondary equipment here. Um, and we're certainly gonna have smaller pieces of equipment. You know, we've got an isolating leg curl, very important for the knee joint, right? Especially for after injuries. So something like this, um, the way we've done it, we think it's a more worthy leg press, and that's all we're trying to do. We're not saying the leg press is ever going to take the place of a squat or deadlift. Obviously, that would be sacrilege. That's ridiculous on so many levels. Um, it's a machine. You're <laughs> against the back support and all this other crazy stuff. Uh, but the way we've done this one, we just think it's more worthy. But also, uh, somebody who's injured, right, they, they have to sort of isolate for a little while. Or uh, just a great assistance exercise where it's more difficult and again, there's more transfer over to the main lifts. The issue we had with most leg presses on the market, the typical 45 degree leg press, is it wouldn't replicate the angles, those great angles, uh, postural angles of the main squat or, um, or deadlift type movements. Um, so what we did with this thing is just basically created a leg press where you're taking a squat or you're taking a deadlift, or well, a squat really, and you're, you're, you're turning the squat 90 degrees or so and uh, you're replicating those angles and essentially pressing the floor away from you. That's what the feel is. To do that, you have to have shoulder pads, obviously. We've opened up the angles. This thing's far closer to 20 degrees instead of 45. And the backrest, the back pad goes way down to almost 10 degrees. Shoulder pads because the force will drive you right off the bench otherwise. And now, we can replicate almost any type of squat in the hole or during the drive, which by the way is the hardest part of the squat. So I'm taking away all the neutralizing, balancing, you know, reinforcing muscles that are so inherent and, and, and you know, required in a free weight movement. True, but I can overload that really difficult part of a squat type movement with all these controls safely, et cetera, in the hole or in the drive. Isolate it, overload it, and just work the crap out of it. You want to demonstrate, Omar? Oh yeah, you want nice nope, shorts, I'll do you it. weirdo. Yeah, hey, hey, you want me to hike these up? Or you want to demonstrate? Yeah, drop those mothers. Yeah, so pretend like you're squatting, same angles. So you would definitely be below parallel there. Big breath. So if you if you close your eyes, you put your head back. It should feel like you're squatting. You're pushing the floor away, in the hole during the squat, hardest part of the squat. You've got a low angle, so you're probably close to a high bar position in the hole or during the drive. Unilateral or bilateral, both on this leg press. Dedicated band hooks. Total of four resistance plate holders, four storage plate holders. It's a beast. Um, think about this, when you put this all the way down, man, because now the kinetic chain arguably ends partially at your shoulders instead of your hip with a typical leg press, it's a harder exercise. You just simply cannot load up all the plates that you can when this thing's up closer to a 45 degree leg press. It's much, much more difficult. Uh, that, that's a good sign. And again, the idea is to reinforce and uh, improve strength on those primary free weight movements. Sean, so that is the video you damn near laid down the science. You made me do over a hundred repetitions. You said, because, end quote, I got chicken legs that I got to improve. I never said that. You never said that. That's a lie. That's a lie. Well, I would never you. say that. <laughs> no. But I think, it, I think uh, Sean, every piece of equipment that you make, there's a lot calves. of thought. Maybe calves. Doing. There's, well, what does it say? She left me because I'm like, I sympathize, bro. This, this yellow guy is you, man. Th that's, that's me. kind of you. <laughs> it's uh, a tie on. So you're always thinking about new things. You're thinking about uh, new ways to help lifters out. 
Uh, for people that don't have access maybe to this leg press, would you say the leg press in general for athletes or those that want to get stronger potentially has its place? Uh, certainly have, uh, these machines certainly have a place with bodybuilders, yeah. no argument there, uh, quad development, et cetera, but um, it, it, it's tough to replicate. Now, that's exactly why we built this one, because we couldn't find one that would replicate the same angles, right, of a squat or a, or a deadlift type movement in the hole during the drive. Um, so, I, I mean, maybe as a, a tertiary third choice assistance exercise for quads, maybe, yeah. but there's so many other freeway things you can do standing up, you know, life work sports. Uh, exercises, um, you know, it, 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 it's hard to suggest, yeah, go and use the leg sure. press, but, but generally for bodybuilding, I would suggest yes, for strength, uh, uh, performance exercise, or, you know, performance work exercise in the gym to improve your sport, not so much. I don't think it's a great choice. I'm actually old enough now to get an allowance, so if I save it up for maybe a few weeks, where can I grab one of these? If you want to check this out, you can see pictures, videos, explanations, etc. Um, right on our website, FortisEquipment.com. Okay. So the madman himself, Sean, actually has a whole bunch of cool stuff coming out, including some stuff I understand, an exercise for maybe an attachment for triceps, something to do with a, a push-up harness. Don't, don't, don't tell him! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I just want to say, Sean, thank you so much for being in the video. Thank you for the opportunity. Look at these biceps. How old are you? Give me a flex. I clean the bathrooms in this gym. No, That's I all I do. Every I now and then they let me make equipment. I'm not flexing. I'm too old. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. You can check out the link below for the uh, like press as well as a whole bunch of other tools that uh, Sean sells. And all of them are super high quality. It's what we use here at Fortis Fitness. And we'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.